untraceable lineage. You stand on the backs of those who came before you. The defiant ones. Outlaws of adventure. Explorers of the unknown. Harley Davidson defined the motorcycle. But it was you who challenged the destination and rode across comets. You who climbed uncharted mountains, who raged through desert sand, and faced the fury of ice and snow in the hope of discovering beauty unknown. You are the Pathfinders, whose hearts beat to discover new terrain and to find yourself all over again in the emptiness of an open road. It has always been your relentless spirit for adventure that's pushed us to take you further. Why call it adventure touring when it's human nature to seek beyond our limits? I am the Pan America, forever exploring. And I am here by the grace of my lineage. I am Harley Davidson. Forever exploring indeed. Welcome to Harley Davidson of Singapore. My name is Timothy Nghe, and this is the launch of the Harley Davidson Pan America 1250 Adventure Bike. An adventure bike by Harley Davidson, I hear some of you ask. Well, if you look at the history of Harley, from the 1900s through two world wars, and competing and winning the Baja 500, Harley Davidson indeed has a very long history and relationship with off-road riding. So the Pan America actually signals a return to the roots of Harley, where everything is a road. And it has the privileged position of being both a founding father as well as a new kid on the block. And this is the day it lands in Singapore. But first, let's hear from the leadership of Harley Davidson in Asia Pacific. Dear friends of Harley Davidson, I'm Dimitris Raptis, Vice President of Harley Davidson Asia Pacific. And I thank you for joining us for the virtual launch of our new Pan American motorcycles in Singapore. Since the global launch of Pan American motorcycles, we have received tremendous interest from the adventure riders, and we are confident that the positive response would resonate with our community of enthusiasts, also in Singapore. Adventure touring is one of the key segments for Harley Davidson, as it is in our DNA. More than a century ago, when many roads were little more than dirt trails, Harley Davidson stood for adventure and continues to do so. Today, we are very proud and excited to showcase Pan America, our first adventure touring motorcycle to you. The inspiration behind the product name is the Pan American Highway, a network of roads that runs along the Pacific coasts of North and South America and passes through jungles, mountains and deserts. The Pan America models demonstrate that go anywhere spirit which we know is shared today by riders all around the globe who want to experience the world on a motorcycle. We are excited that Pan America is now in Singapore, one of the key markets for us in the Asia Pacific. Personally, I'm excited to ride the new Pan America to explore Singapore, as I have booked one for myself as well and I'm looking forward to connecting and knowing more about your experience on the new motorcycles. So let's unlock the adventure now. Hello riders, thank you for joining us today. I am Theo Hock Seng, Executive Chairman of Komoko Holdings, and I'm excited to announce that the Harley Davidson Pan America is finally here in Singapore. Having been in the business of selling the ultimate motorcycles in Singapore since 1994, Komoko Motorcycle continues to bring the total lifestyle of motorcycling to all Harley owners and enthusiasts without compromise. It is with such philosophy that Harley Davidson of Singapore strives relentlessly to exceed expectations. The Pan America model is Harley Davidson's first adventure touring motorcycle and is designed to fulfill our customers' aspirations for adventure touring, encapsulating the desire to ride both on and off roads. We at Harley Davidson of Singapore are committed to provide our continuous support to our riders 
in this adventure touring segment. Plans are in place such as technical off-road riding clinics with Route 55 along with possible riding adventure tours in the near future for our new owners of the Pan America. Thank you once again for joining us and I hope this would be an informative event for you. See you all soon at Harley Davidson of Singapore. And here we have it, in the flesh, the Harley Davidson Pan America 1250. Gerald and Abraham, let's talk about the design of this bike. Gerald? All right. For the design of the Pan America, Harley didn't want to follow anything out there in the market. That's why it has a fixed fairing and it's down from our heritage, taken off the road glide that has a fixed fairing also from the touring models that we have. And the headlamp is from the fat bob. It gives you back of a signature of a Harley, what the Harley is it. And that's why they have this thing, not like anything in the market so far. It certainly is iconic. And I also understand that the Pan America was basically developed ground up and engine out. Yep. Abraham? Uh, we have the new 1250 Revolution Max engine, right? Uh, totally lightweight, uh, 60 degree with a 90 degree firing order, 90 foot pounds of torque with 150 horsepower. What translates that to the customer is actually with the VVT, you have a very good torque, low, low end. And uh, when you push up to the high revs, it's got a smooth transition of power. So it sounds like down low, you've got very tractable power. Mm and all the way up Correct. where you are screaming down the highway. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, especially uh, when you're going off-road, uh, that low-end power is very crucial for the adventure rider. All right? And also uh, hydraulic lash adjusters, which is maintenance-free, of course. So the customer can ride without worrying about uh, adjusting valves and all that. So the adventure rider can actually enjoy his ride. Gerald, tell us about how the features of the Pan America make this an adventure bike. Well, the Venture Bike comes with different ride modes. You have the normal rain, road, sport, and we also have an off-road class. All right? And there's two more modes that the customer can customize to his own style of, of riding, whether it's on-road or off-road. And I hear that Harley's adaptive ride height system doesn't use any motors. No, it doesn't. It's controlled by the bike's computer, the ECM, and the hydraulic suspension. For the taller riders, they can actually lock it out. You go to the custom mode, and you can lock it and it will stay locked and stay at a certain height and it will not drop. And I assume that it also comes with ABS, traction control, link braking, all the usual things all that you find. All the usual you find has the safety features on the bike. It's part of a compliance also that our bikes has, has it now this. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Now let's see how this all translates into real world riding. Adventure riding to me is just jumping on a bike and just say, where does this road lead to? And just seeing the world uh, in a very different light and then say, oh wow. From all the uh, meter launches, it, the bike looks a bit big, but when I came closer to it and sat on it, the handlebar is not too far away. Uh, the instrumentation cluster is not so high up. So you feel like, uh, you are slotted into the bike. I've ridden a lot of different types of adventure bikes. To me, it's more important jumping on a bike, feeling it, riding it. If it's a well thought out product, if someone did their homework well, the bike feels effortless. And that is what really impressed me on this bike. When I started the engine, I just feel that the smoothness of the V-Twin. And we took it for some slow speed uh, maneuvers just now. The engine has more than enough torque. Even without the throttle, it just keeps going at the low end. On the road mode, the power delivery, obviously the mapping, everything is different. And it actually rides a lot better. So the power is a lot more direct. The engineers actually factor in a little bit of vibration into the engine to give it a little bit of soul. It's just enough so that it doesn't irritate you when you ride long distance but it just gives it a little bit of character. Perfect. So in terms of features and functions of a bike, for me, uh, reliability, of course, is number one. Uh, the other thing is comfort. If you're uh, spending long hours on a bike, you know, whether the engine gets really hot or not, so far from the design, the cooling system seems to work really well, and it does help dissipate the heat from under the seat. And the seat itself is actually very comfortable. Some of the bikes you buy, you buy on a, 
a shortened suspension, but you compromise on your ride quality. The biggest selling point of the bike is when you stop. Showa suspension allows it to lower down so you can get your feet down. So that builds a lot of confidence for especially newer riders. You know how it is, you, you go for long rides, at the end of the day you're tired, you're hot, you put your foot down, you slip. This thing sort of just slowly lowers down and you, when you roll off, after a few seconds it just rolls, rides up. It gives you the same ride quality throughout. For a lot of us, this is a welcome change. I took it up for a little bit of air time, a little bit of jump through some ruts and so on. Um, you can feel the whole suspension system working and it actually soaks everything up really well. I'm quite impressed. I think they calibrated it really well. So in terms of uh, right comfort on road and also for off road. It has the right balance. For this bike, it builds a lot of confidence for the rider. It looks big. It looks bulky, but once you ride it, it doesn't feel heavy at all. And when you start to make that small, slow turn, uh, it, it, you don't feel like the weight is going to topple you down, even at slow speed. The braking, you just feel very comfortable braking really hard when you need to. And a lot of people will be surprised how it handles. Yeah, I think for a Harley Davidson to handle this way, it's a lot of people will be surprised. It's, it's really unexpected. Back in the studio, we have Tommy Lee. He is the Chief Instructor of Route 55 Adventures. And if there's somebody to put the Pan America through its paces, it's definitely him. So both of you, I have a question. What was your first impressions of the Pan America? I was uh, very pleasantly surprised that it was such a light machine for its size, you know. So. Uh, then I understood that, you know, uh, the whole package is not what it seemed to be. There was a lot of uh, use of lightweight materials and, um, you know, especially the engine using magnesium and a triple frame configuration, everything is bolted together. Very confidence inspiring and made me feel 15 years younger, actually. <laughs> That's a selling point for sure. <laughs> if you want to feel 15 years younger, come on down to Harley Davidson, Singapore. Yep. Tommy, what about you? First impressions. So for me, what I really wanted to do was find how it actually handles and rides. Uh, first time I got on the bike, rode it maybe 100 meters, I was impressed. Me being an engineer and I like mechanical things, the engineers did uh, their homework and it actually obviously showed when you ride the bike because this bike is what, 250 kilos? It does not feel 250 kilos. What they have done is they have done the weight distribution really well. So when you have a lower center of gravity, the bike handles uh, well on low speed and also very stable on high speed. You know, one of the things about adventure bikes, especially big adventure bikes, is how do they take the big hits, the big jumps? You definitely put it through its paces. <laughs> yes, I did take it through its pace. I uh, managed to get some air on the bike and land. Uh, the suspension worked really well uh, from Showa. The electronic suspension worked well. And again, I think it's a lot down to the initial design, once you get that right, everything falls into place. It feels very much like a mid-engine, you know, 600, 700cc bike. Wow, that's like ADV Nirvana. Everybody wants a big, mean-ass looking bike to look at, but then when they get on it, it handles like a mid-sized dual sport. So to both of you, um, what about the Pan America makes this a great adventure bike for you? It evoked a lot of emotion in me when I'm riding the bike, you know. Uh, and that's what motorcycling is all about. And uh, you know, the Pan America brought the same feeling evoked in our V twin. It was soulful. It had the right amount of vibes tuned back in. And um, when I was riding it, it felt so neutral. I felt one with the machine. You know, I had. A, I, I actually didn't want to let go of the bike. I had a connection, and I didn't want to return bike <laughs> back. You know, uh, that was how the bike impacted me. For me, I think the first impression I got uh, on the bike was it's a very American looking bike. It, it brings me back to the 1990s of the uh, Ford um, uh, Trans Am and then also the Camaros, you know, with the slightly slanted nose and the round lights. The first impression was that. Yeah. Uh, and it's got a lot of character. I have to admit, it's uh, different to whatever is in the market right now. 
Uh, and if you actually look at all the bikes in the market now, it's kind of generic, mm -hmm. the direction they are following. Yeah. This one, you can tell straight away, it's an American bike. Yeah. If someone were to be watching this video, this launch, and they were maybe an adventure rider, maybe they were a Harley owner, maybe they were somebody who's thinking about getting a long distance bike or doing some off-road and all that, what would you say to them? Please come down and try this bike. It's an amazing machine, well engineered, and it's a very, very beautiful package. Proof is in the pudding, really. It's difficult to explain to you, to encourage you to put in the nice words. Feel it, touch it, ride it. I think the bike will sell itself. So we all know that one of the tenets of Harley Davidson is the ability to make your ride your very own, to carve your own identity. And I hear that tradition continues with the Pan America. That's right. Tell me about the gears that are available for the bike. Of course, for adventure touring, there's a gears to protect the bike. You have the skid plate, the muffler guard, headline trim, radiator guard, and of course, the adventure touring boxes. Harley has uh, collaborated with SW Motec on the manufacturing, design, and testing of the boxes. All right, so it doesn't compromise the handling of the bike when the boxes are fully loaded. All right, even the lean angle of the bike won't be compromised at a 42 degree angle. These are the aluminum boxes. There's available. two other vari versions, a uh, soft bag and a uh, sort of a fiber bag. Right? So it depends on, on the individual owners, what they want. But the good thing is, well, no matter what bag, the mounting points are all, and the racks are all the same. So it's pretty much a plug and play? Plug and play, situation. that's right, yes. What about gear for the rider? For gear for the riders, we have Harley has again collaborated with another well-known company, mm -hmm. Revit, to produce adventure riding gears, protect the riders in all kinds of weather, rain, snow, and it's made by a Hydrotech shell. What is Hydrotex? It's a highly breathable shell that repels rain and wind. It also has superior abrasion and tear resistance. So Gerald, it sounds like Harley has decided to work with industry leaders like SW Motec and Revit. Yes. Industry leaders in the field of adventure touring to make sure that when you buy a Pan America, it's ready to hit the road or to hit the off-road path, if you so choose. That's right. And from what I hear, response around the world has been quite overwhelming. That's right. So the collaborations are bound to continue. And grow. So what more is there to say? Don't take our word for it. What you need to do is come on down and touch and feel the Pan America for yourself. Take one out for a test ride and you might just win a set of Harley Davidson Revit riding gear. And if you like one, you can own a Pan America from $46,900. So that's it from me, Timothy Nghe and Harley Davidson of Singapore. We'll see you soon.